I have a form of leukemia uh, known as CLL. And as a result of that, my immune system doesn't work. So although I've had all the jabs, I actually had my fourth jab uh, last week. Um, although I've had all the jabs, basically, uh, I'm, to, be, to be blunt, I might as well not bother, as it were, because for me, they don't work. That's not true for everybody who's got a compromised immune system. Some people, uh, you know, it does have some impact. But I get tested for antibodies um, two, three weeks after the jabs, and they show up as pretty much zero for me. So what that means is that while everybody else is able to, wonderfully, thanks to the vaccines, is able to go and lead a relatively normal life with or without restrictions, um, I've effectively been stuck at home for the last two years. Not entirely true. I mean, I, I go outside. Um, I can go to friends' houses if I know that they're safe, if they've had lateral flow tests. Um, basically, I can't go into public places, um, which means I can't go into shops. I can't go to restaurants. I can't go to cinemas. I can't go anywhere there's a crowd, basically, where there's a risk. Um, everybody's different in my situation. Uh, some people, uh, you know, it's about assessing the risk for you. The, 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 the view that I've taken with my consultant is that I need to be as safe as it's possible for me to be. And what can the government do to help ensure that you are as safe as you need to be when they lift all restrictions in England? Yeah. Well, this is the big issue. Now, I've been campaigning on Twitter and various other you know, through newspapers and so on, um, for there to be some kind of plan. I mean, the charity Blood Cancer UK has been doing brilliant work on this. Um, the problem is not that the government are lifting the restrictions. I think that's brilliant that COVID is in such a place where we even feel we can contemplate doing that. That's not the issue. The issue is that while they're doing that, there's no plan whatsoever to deal with people like me, other than treatment. Now, what, the government deserves great praise for the fact that it's bought a series of antiviral pills, thanks to some of the developments, you know, aside from the vaccine technology, um, there have been other brilliant medical developments, one of which is people for whom the vaccine doesn't work. If they catch COVID, uh, you can take antiviral pills. There's one called Monopravir. There's, a, there's an even more effective one that Pfizer have come up with, uh, which means that you stand a much better chance when you take those pills of not needing hospitalisation, providing it's done early on. Um, but those are for people who catch COVID. And at the moment, the government's sole response to the kind of points we're making about the fact that we're stuck at home while everyone else is out and about. The government's sole response is to say, yeah, but look, we've got these pills. If you get COVID, well, thank you very much, but I don't want to run the risk of having COVID because you know, they're not 100% safe. Uh, they're not 100% guarantee. The fact is I could catch COVID and the pills might not work for me. They don't work for everyone. What I want is to be able, you can, the, the great thing about these pills is you can have those pills for prevention the government's refusing to allow them to be used for prevention. If I was in the States, if I was in Germany, if I was in Israel, I'd have been taking those pills weeks, months ago in some cases, and I'd have been out and about because I'd have had those for prevention rather than treatment.